show you how to upload documents into your Aconex document register. We'll go over uploading a document, filling in the compulsory fields on your upload document screen, tagging your documents with attributes. Click on the documents menu. Under the actions heading, the first option we have is upload a new document. Let's click that. At the top of the upload document screen, you'll see some of these fields are highlighted and have an asterisk next to their titles. This indicates that the field must be filled in before we can complete the upload. The first thing I'll do is select the document I'm going to upload today. I can select the file from my local folder or from my network. Now, let's work from top to bottom, filling in all the compulsory fields. The first line here is for entering your document number. You can find the document numbering guidelines in the supporting documentation for your project. If you can't find this in your document register or the project information section on the tasks page, contact the project owner or organization administrator. Next, I need to fill in the other fields, including the title and revision. When filling in the revision field, it's good to remember that it can be alpha or numeric and is not just limited to one character. You can have multiple characters in the revision field. Now I use the drop downs to select document type, status, and discipline. Let's take a second to look at the document types list I have. This should show all the types you need for your project, but if you need a type that's not listed here, then ask the project owner. Now I select the current status of the document and the discipline the document's under. Not every project uses fields, but if they do, they'll be labelled and according to the requirements for each project, like they've been done here in my example project. The other fields that don't have the asterisk are optional, but do remember that there are probably guidelines set for how you should number documents on your project, and you need to make sure that you're following them. Plus, the more details you tag with this document, the easier it will be for everyone to find. Alright, so now I'm going to hit the Upload button and I get a warning message. I haven't filled in all the mandatory fields for this document and it'll highlight the fields that I need to fill out in red. So let's add a date into the revision date field. I hit upload and the file will be uploaded into Aconex. This confirmation screen tells me the document has been uploaded successfully. Now remember, other organizations can't see this document until it's transmitted to them. So let's do that now and select transmit this document. The transmittal screen will be pretty familiar and acts a lot like mail, except in this instance, we're sending the document to another organization's document register. Here we'll add our recipients and indicate the reason for issuing the transmittal. And if a response is required, enter a subject line. And finally, a short message and we're ready to send. 